Just a month after the stable Android 12 update dropped for the Google Pixel, Samsung has followed suit by unleashing One UI 4.0 in a stable form for selected Galaxy devices, including the S21 Ultra. You might be waiting for the One UI 4.0 update to arrive on your own Samsung Galaxy smartphone, and if that is the case, then we've done a deep dive here into all of the things you'll find in this latest update in this, our in-depth hands-on with One UI 4.0. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be notified about all our future uploads. The biggest new addition to Google Pixel phones with Android 12 is making the jump over to One UI 4.0, as you may have spotted in the previous beta series. Although not quite as prominent in Android 12 builds for Samsung devices, your wallpaper color choices can be tied to the rest of your system by what is called color palette. By default, this is actually not enabled, but One UI 4.0 is able to pick up up to three colors from your on-device wallpaper, just like it does on Pixel phones, and theme app and system toggles and accents according to your color palette choices. The stable Android 12 update for Samsung Galaxy phones even includes a new toggle that lets you theme system app icons according to your color accenting. This isn't quite as extensive as the themed icons found on Pixel hardware, but it does offer a way to complete your system theme across the board. It's also worth noting that any apps updated with Material U theming will also adhere to the color palette settings on your device, and this creates a level of cohesion not previously seen on most Samsung hardware. It wouldn't be a major Android update without some camera UI tuning and tweaks from Samsung, and the default layout now hides off a few of the camera options, but these can be adjusted at any time to better suit your own personal preferences. A major change is that the more abstract zoom indicators, which were trees previously, have been simplified in One UI 4.0 to just tell you what zoom level you're currently at within the viewfinder. This makes things much easier at a glance, and it cleans up what was sometimes a messy UI and somewhat confusing UI element. Should you use the AI scene detection mode, the pop-ups will also now appear given context. For example, the document scanner will only appear if body of texts are identified within the viewfinder, Similarly, the night mode will now recommend in low light settings, while the focus enhancer will also appear if you do get close to a subject and want to get some macro photography. Samsung has also reduced the shutter press delay when recording video on Galaxy devices in One UI 4.0 here too. Previously, you had to let go of the shutter button before the recording would actually start. Now it will just initiate as soon as you hit that toggle. Other improvements to the system include some changes to the pro mode, which has a few font and layout enhancements for a more cohesive feel, and overall, the camera UI does feel a little bit tweaked, although not too different in the grand scheme of things. To help improve the long-term health of your Galaxy device, One UI 4.0 also includes a new battery toggle that will limit the maximum charge capacity to just 85% when you plug in or put on a wireless charge dock. This can be enabled if you just want to ensure the battery health of your device remains solid no matter how long you hold on to your Galaxy phone, and you can find this in the device care section. While Gboard has the slightly better emoji kitchen in our opinion, the default Samsung keyboard has also added its own similar feature with a cool dual emoji GIF option that lets you animate emoji pairs in a number of ways. It is completely unnecessary, but it's still a neat option that might prove popular, especially as you can combine a range of popular emoji together in quite a few ways. It's just a shame that they're in this Samsung style, that is. Like many options carried over from the initial One UI 4.0 beta phase, RAM Plus is another long-term system boosting tool. And effectively, RAM Plus can partition four gigabytes of on-device storage and use this as virtual RAM for quick access and potentially improved overall device performance. With older and less capable Galaxy smartphones, this will undoubtedly help, but it isn't quite the same as physically adding four gigabytes of RAM to your phone. It could help though if heavy apps are taking up system resources, or if you want to play more demanding games and are happy to sacrifice other app performance levels. A core tenet of Android 12 is that of enhanced privacy, and that starts with the brand new privacy dashboard. Think of this as a hub for any and all of the times an app or system app has accessed or adjust certain permissions on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Although amalgamated into the privacy section of device settings, this offers at a glance information that you can just act upon on a whim. The added privacy controls do not stop there though, as new toggles and status bar indicators are also present to help you better understand if or when apps are accessing your on-device camera or microphone. You'll see a green icon or dot in the upper right of your Galaxy display 
to denote whether the microphone or camera has recently been accessed. Expanding the notification quick settings and tapping the icon itself will inform just which app has recently accessed each piece of hardware individually. Adding to that, location-based data is also core to many apps, but in One UI 4.0 and Android 12, you're able to allow apps either a precise or approximate location information tag. This includes a new pop-up when an app first requests your GPS information. You're able to adjust this at any time, and with the ability to give an approximation of your positioning, Android 12 adds another layer of obfuscation, but enhanced safety without affecting app usability. You may not use the default Samsung Gallery app, but it has gained some added flavor and functions with Android 12. You're afforded more photo and video editing options, including an emoji picker and an object eraser feature that is similar to the magic eraser option found on Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. Search suggestions are also found within the main gallery UI, and they've been improved and enhanced for better pinpointing and management of your on-device media. Media album covers are also included, with deeper sections here for the first time too. Another notable is that you're actually able to see detailed image geolocation data with the ability to adjust metadata on your device easily and quickly without having to use a separate application. Of course, there are a number of minor UI tweaks and tuning in One UI 4.0 that don't necessarily affect or adjust the daily experience all too drastically. These also include things such as a new charging animation, with the animation appearing briefly on screen as a circular pop-up which shows the current charge percentage with a circular progress bar rotating to indicate that a charge is being received. It lasts around one to two seconds and is a nice visual notification to let you know that your device is receiving extra power. There's also an updating settings menu sections with certain actual subsections having received a lick of paint with adjusted layouts. A prominent example here is the device care section. When accessing this portion, you'll get a visual overview of your device health and status. Samsung has also revamped the media output menu controls with One UI 4.0 to allow you to quickly connect or adjust just where your music or video audio is playing. The associated volume controls also now feel easy to manage without really affecting how the music notification share music player works. The share shape is also one area that sometimes feels like it needs some extra attention, but at least with this latest update, you're able to select favorites for quick access. This acts like app pinning as you've seen on previous versions of Android for Pixel phones, but there doesn't appear to be a limit to the number of apps you can place here on One UI 4.0. Picture-in-picture -picture mode has also gained a simple pinch to resize gesture, which allows you to easily adjust the player size with a familiar UI interaction. You're still able to drag from the player corners to resize windows here too, so you're not losing out in the grand scheme of things. Samsung has also followed or mimicked the Pixel Launcher by adding a vertical tab list when using the stock One UI 4.0 widget picker. This does make it easier to select home screen widgets, but adds no new functionality. One UI 4.0 also lets you customize the lock screen always on display further than ever before, and you can set the always on display to only activate when a new notification arrives. There's even new and more widgets available, including the voice recorder app, if you just want to quickly record without having extra options. Rounding out the expanded customization options available, you're also able to add a range of animated stickers, Bitmoji, AR emoji, and GIFs directly to your always on display. One UI 4.0 also bundles in a few extra device accessibility functions, including that of extra dim for the display. This lets you quickly lower display brightness with a single tap when in low light environments. You can set this uh, to a preset intensity level at which the display brightness will be lowered here too. Within the settings app, you're also able to make more adjustments to suit your exact needs with increased options for reducing UI transparency and blur for better overall visibility. You can also customize flash notifications either using the camera flash or with a screen flash from within the accessibility settings too. From here, you can set a full screen color flash when you get a notification from an app that you may instantly work out just which app has been sent it due to the color coding. It's also worth noting this, this only applies when your phone is unlocked and works in tandem with the edge lighting feature if you do have that enabled. So that's a pretty long summary of some of the biggest features in Samsung's One UI 4.0, but some of you are wondering, when will the One UI 4.0 stable update reach my devices? Well, the initial rollout of Android 12 for Samsung Galaxy hardware is limited to just a few select models currently, at least of this video going live. If you have the Samsung Galaxy S21 series, then you should already be able to update your device with a beta opening up for older Galaxy smartphones and foldable hardware over the coming weeks. 
Samsung has also confirmed the roadmap for the full One UI 4.0 rollout with over 45 devices eligible as of November 2021. This includes A series, S series, Tab series, Fold and Flip series smartphones and tablets. And we're sure that a few others will be thrown in there for good measure too by the Korean tech giant. If you have been using One UI 4.0 already though, be that the betas or the new stable release, then let us know what you think down in the comment sections below. But obviously until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.